I just want to say thank you to everyone who watches my YouTube channel. And if you don't think a Savannah Monitor will play tug of war, you're wrong. Because they will. And they're actually really good at it. There we go. So if you guys like my videos, oh, he's strong. Please go ahead and leave a like. That helps grow my channel. Also, please comment on my videos. I love interacting with you guys. Uh, it's a lot of fun and I get to answer questions and see that you guys care. Uh, and if you're not a member of the family, you can go ahead and subscribe. It's free. It helps me grow the channel even more. And I've listened to you guys and I do have a Patreon down below. Oh, the alligator death roll. So please go ahead and uh, like, comment, subscribe, bell icon. Oh, good morning, Reptile Rescue family, and good morning, Phoenix. What do we have going on today? You can see the title. What is this just... Uh, Center for Disease Control, the CDC. I mean, I know, you're mad about it too. Like, can we have any faith in what these people tell us anymore? I honestly think not. So, what's going on? Turn your back to them. Turn your back to them. Turn your back to them. What is this guidance they're giving now? So, in case you guys don't follow the CDC here in America, for people who aren't here, it's the Center for Disease Control. They've issued a warning. This actually has been ongoing. They've been moder uh, monitoring it since December 2020. What is it? The, and this is their official guidance. Their official word is, do not kiss... Do not snuggle with your bearded dragon pets. Don't eat in the same room as them. Don't eat by them. Don't put them in any room of your house that has food. Don't let them roam your homes. Why are they saying this? Let's talk about it. What a horrible transition. I know. I just wanted to do it. Um, no, here's the problem, by the way. Hi. How you doing? How you doing? Hi. Good morning. Oh, shoot. She's getting mad. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. I'm not supposed to even touch you. So there's been a salmonella outbreak, um, I think, in 24 states. And they've traced it back because, right, when someone gets salmonella, they go in and they, they go and they find out where did it come from. And they've traced it back to the bearded dragons and the bearded dragon enclosures. Now, let's talk about salmonella with bearded dragons. Let's talk about where it comes from, how it happens and what's going on. So salmonella, right? Disease, humans get it. We're going to get diarrhea. We're going to get stomach cramps. You could get pretty sick. You want to not get it. Okay, fine. Little infection. Where does this like bacteria come from? It could come from a lot of places, but where does it come from in bearded dragons? It comes from down in here. That's right. Bearded dragons in their GI tract, they have salmonella bacteria. It's perfectly fine for the bearded dragon to have that inside of them, right? It breaks down their food. So how do we get it? How do they get it? How does the tank get it? The bearded dragon poops. That's right. Bearded dragon poops and their poop, believe it or not, guys, a bearded dragon's poop has bacteria in it. <gasps> Who would have thought, CDC? This is a groundbreaking achievement. You got to be kidding me. So... If a bearded dragon poops, their poop has bacteria. More than salmonella could have other things, could have coccidia, right? So what happens if the bearded dragon walks through the poop or puts their tail in it and then it gets on their back or they walk in it and then they walk around their tank and sometimes you see poop footprints, sometimes you don't because, you know, you can still pass that bacteria. So bearded dragon poops, walks through the poop, spreads its poop everywhere, now, the bearded dragon has salmonella on it, and the tank has salmonella on it. Even if you spot clean right away, but sometimes you can't get to it right away because maybe you're at work. Maybe you don't notice. Maybe your bearded dragon takes a crap in the middle of the night. You know, no one's got a poop alarm in the tank that signals them when poop's coming, and then you can come and pick up the bearded dragon's tail let them poop it into the toilet, never gets on them or on the tank, it's good. No. So the CDC in its infinite wisdom doesn't, doesn't list any type of better care. Let me tell you how you get salmonella from your bearded dragon. You're not taking care of it correctly. You're not keeping its environment clean. 
you probably have reptile carpet. So even if you spot clean that, even if you spray it, that area, think about it, those salmonella, the poop, the liquid, it spreads, it could be anywhere. So the CDC in its infinite wisdom, this could have been a great time if the agency knew what it was doing was saying, hey, the salmonella comes from their poop. When a bearded dragon poops, you should do A, B, C, D. Not, don't touch your bearded dragon. Ah, if you let your bearded dragon walk on the floor anywhere in your home, make sure you disinfect the exact path it took. Don't eat in the same room as the bearded dragon. Do not kiss it. Do not snuggle it on your chest. No. Poke it and get away. Come on, guys. Come on. No, your bearded dragon poops. Now, this is why I like using replaceable bottoms or you can use a non-waterproof bottom, tile, shelf liner, etc. But if you use replaceable for me, because then I don't have to scoop the poop off and then wash, I take the news... Poop gets laid here. Take out the bottom newspaper. Throw it away. Before I put new newspaper in, clean the glass. There's things you can use. Chlorhexidine I use. There's other cleaners you can use. That's food safe, so you're fine. Spray it down. But while I'm cleaning the tank, where is the bearded dragon that took a crap? It's in the bath. Right? I don't put it in the bathtub. I put it in a, a container to put it in. But you could put it in the bathtub as well. And you wash the bearded dragon. You soak, you take a toothbrush, you scrub the vent, you scrub the tail, you rinse them, you wash all that bacteria and germs off. I spray down the hammock. I spray the shelves. I spray the log. You know, you wash the stuff in the enclosure. That way, there's no bacteria on the dragon and there's no bacteria in the enclosure. If you were to just do one or the other, it would respread. If I put this dragon in the bath and I don't wipe and clean things down in here and then I take my clean bearded dragon, I set it back down bacteria or vice versa i go and i take the bearded dragon out i clean the whole enclosure and then i put the bacteria coated bearded dragon in <laughs> so this could have been a great moment for the cdc to say hey this is what we did and this is what they did they said they went to the homes they they looked through the homes for salmonella right there's all these people they got salmonella they went to all their homes they swabbed everything they put a q-tip in the dragon's butt they rubbed the q-tip all the round areas of the enclosure and then ding 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 positive we found salmonella on the back we found salmonella in the corners of the tank or on the bottom or on this log and therefore don't interact with this area now don't clean this area don't interact with it you got to be kidding me or if you do interact with it, immediately wash your hands after. Now that's good advice. You should wash your hands before you interact with your reptile and after, but you don't have to do immediately after. You could use hand sanitizer too after, that's fine. Um, but you wanna be careful if you use hand sanitizer and you directly interact, because you know sometimes it's on your hand, there's alcohol, no bueno what if they were to lick you. They dropped the ball. They had a chance to give really good advice and say the reason why their salmonella is you probably have a porous substrate and you're not cleaning everything correctly they drop the ball is it a shocker to some it may be to others part of the course take care everyone thank you guys for supporting my reptile rescue family